Taking a quick look at the Blackberry Mercury. We don't know the name yet, but it's probably going to be DTEC something. Uh, we have a 4.5 inch screen on here. They're not officially saying all these specs, but we all know what it's what's going to be in there. There's 1620 by 1080p resolution. That is because we have the keyboard down here. There's capacitive touch buttons on the front for Android. The keyboard actually feels very BlackBerry-like, and it's a bit bigger than on the BlackBerry Prif, for example. Uh, Android 7 has all the typical DTEC features from BlackBerry, including the security hub and everything else, but runs the standard Android on here. Also, you can use the keyboard by swiping. You can also scroll, so if I go in here, I could actually swipe down and up to actually scroll through the folders. The software is not yet final, that's why they're not announcing it here. The hardware is pretty much final. And yeah, we have a fingerprint reader down here at the bottom that does sadly not yet work. It's integrated into the spacebar and it's actually pretty decently spaced. Overall, the phone feels very nice. It's, it has a hefty feel to it. It feels pretty good in the hand and it's also very light. Uh, not very light, but it's very small for a device that has a 4.5 inch screen combined with the keyboard down here. We have an 8 megapixel camera up here plus your earpiece. There's a notification LED and right next to that should be a sensor cluster. I have no idea if there's actually an infrared camera or something in there that recognizes your iris, but that would be a very logical move actually because that looks kind of big for the sensor array that's usually on the phones. Uh, looking at the software, you'll see that there's a bunch of kinks in here, so you have all these settings. There's a manual mode in here, uh, but the, um, the software isn't yet final, so there's why this is why there is a bunch of spaces where there is differences in the software that doesn't fully work in uh, all small details yet. Let's just open that website, open another thing, open the view alarms, and then you'll see you have this uh, new or the same multitasking menu as on the other BlackBerry Android devices where uh, stuff is sorted by importance and after when you opened or uh, according to when you opened these apps. The whole device is made out of aluminum. It feels very well, very sturdy. You have these antenna lines back here. There's a volume rocker up here. It feels a bit wobbly. This is your quick access button right now. It leads to the camera, I believe, or actually the messenger which doesn't have the permission yet, you can self-define what app you want to open in this case. There you have the power button right there. And on the back we have this plastic cover that is rubberized kind of. It attracts a bunch of fingerprints, but that's because my hands are kind of sweaty right now. We have a 60 megapixel camera up here, I believe. I don't know the exact specs yet, as all this will be announced at MWC. You also get those two LED lights up here, and at the bottom you'll end up with your USB Type-C port. There's three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of flash storage. You can insert a uh, micro SD card to extend the storage and the USB-C port is certainly used to quick charge the uh, battery that's gonna be in here, which is probably gonna be pretty massive because if you look from the side, you can see that the device is pretty thick for what it is in this form factor. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.